Welcome back. Let's watch this video of Pastor Matthew Oshimelo once again. Seventy dollars and seven hundred thousand naira. You choose one of them. Those showing seven hundred thousand, they stand in the middle here. Those showing seventy dollars, they stand on the left and on the right. Get up, come. We're going to pray for you. Don't wait for anyone. It's a new season. Go check your Bible, and you find that Melchizedek is mentioned seven times in the whole of your Bible. Once in the book of Psalms, then in the book of Genesis, and then several times in the book of Hebrews. So it's mentioned seven times. Seven is the number of perfection. I want to pray for somebody to receive a breakthrough of perfection. It's two seeds, and I want you to stretch. I like someone to say stretch. Say it again, stretch. And you who's watching online, make sure you do it. Some of you went to work, you're not here this morning. You're coming this evening, make sure you do it. It's a seed of perfected breakthrough. Seven is the number of perfection in the Bible. One is the number of beginning. Two is the number of witness. Three is God. Four is balance. Five is grace. Six is the number of man. Seven is the number of perfection. Perfect grace, perfect blessing, perfect favor, perfect testimony, perfect turnaround. I do these things. I do it all the time. I want two seed to be sown. The seed of perfection is seventy dollars and seven hundred thousand naira. You choose one of them. Those showing seven hundred thousand, they stand in the middle here. Those showing seventy dollars, they stand on the left and on the right. Get up, come. We're going to pray for you. Don't wait for anyone. It's a new season. Oh God, wants from you. It's your seventy dollar and your seven hundred thousand naira, like. Pastor Matthew Shimelo is claiming, then that God must be a partial God. Because I am very sure that there are thousands of people in this meeting, Trem is holding now, this conference, that do not have this money, but they are hoping and believing in God for a change, for a restoration. You see, God is not Babai Jebu, Kalu Kalu, Bet Ninja, that you have to give before you get. All God is asking you for is your heart to worship him in spirit and in truth. Because by all this means, that's when you see God, not through your cheddars. This your money is dirty now for the creator that was never created. This your money is dirty. At some point, you would give to God willingly, but not somebody coming to put a price to the anointing. You don't stake price like you're going to a betting house and you stake price for Ronaldo to win. You stake price for one company to win. No, you're not staking it. That is where we Christians get it wrong. You don't put an, um, a place an amount on the anointing. Remember, Benny he said the same thing. There was this time he was always placing an amount to the anointing, one thousand dollars, so two thousand dollars. He said the spirit of God told him it was wrong that you don't place an amount to the anointing. I don't know if he still does that, but he came out and said it that it was wrong. You don't tell people what to give to God; they give from their heart. That is why God loves a cheerful giver. I am sorry, I see so much wrong in this video, but I would not go more than this. If this is the first time you're coming across my videos, do well to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next video.